talked about this for a long time. Who's actually in charge of this pandemic and all this? What's going? Is it WHO? Is it is it is it CDC? Is it Fauci? And people start talking about. Well, you know, you got all these NGOs. You got all these private. Uh, groups led by Bill Gates and others. And of course, you know, oh, Naomi Wolf's got a tinfoil hat on. Dr. Malone's a nutcase. Steve Bannon's just a rabble rouser. It's all phony. Then Politico comes out with, I think, a year long investigation, writes this article of which the mainstream media doesn't want to talk about. It goes in the memory hole. It's one of the most definitive investigative reports I think Politico's ever done. And it's in the memory hole. Nobody, nobody in the mainstream media wants to, to talk about it. The importance can't be overstated of this article and the Really, there's no other way to say it, the global conspiracy that it discloses. Um, and it shows exactly who the players are and it confirms um, what a number of us have been saying and again, always being called insane, which is that there's a meta-national uh, structure of, of bad actors, notably nonprofit entities, who are simply going above the heads of nation states to create, I mean, I don't want to use this cliche, but to create kind of, um, you know, one world government is such a cliche, I can't say it, but kind of a, a, a one group set of decisions to affect everyone on the planet. And this Politico uh, investigative piece um, in alignment with the respected German news outlet Die Welt um, really absolutely confirms exactly how it happened. So I'm gonna use the rest of the segment just to lay out what is essentially the whole coronavirus drama was um, I, I'm not going to say engineered, but exploited and manifested in the shape it took by four bad nonprofits who held the world hostage and basically laundered money um, in the following way. So Gavi, which is aligned with Bill Gates, the Wellcome Foundation, which is a British um, research foundation, uh, the is a group called CEPI, which is um, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, an international vaccine research and development group that Gates and Welcome founded, um, all of them aligned to basically buy off the governments of the world when the pandemic hit or launched. So they spent $8.3 million to lobby for certain policies, both in the United States and in Europe. So this is like behind the scenes, they're getting things to play out the way they want to because they've spent millions of dollars. At the same time, these groups gave $1.4 billion to the World Health Organization. Remember, to the World Health Organization. Remember how at the very start of the pandemic, early 2020, our president was making decisions for the United States the way it's supposed to be in a sovereign nation state. And suddenly it's all about the WHO and it's all about Bill Gates. And, you know, and, it, and it's it, but but through the, the medium, the puppetry of the WHO. So these four groups at this point owned the WHO. And again, China, 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 Gates and China are two of the biggest funders of the WHO. And out of the WHO, all the nonsense was spewed, right? The Imperial College nonsense models, the lockdown model, the declaration by the WHO that China's lockdown model was a model for the rest of the world. Every single wrong thing that ruined your life and your children's life in the last, you know, certainly for the first 18 months since 2020, came out of the WHO and the script for lockdown uh, in country after country came out of the WHO. And then what they did is they then went to these bought off heads of state that they spent all this money lobbying and they sought money for the vaccines. These entities sought five billion from Biden and got 500 million. And what people really need to understand is that they keep the IP, the intellectual property. And so what that means is whatever they made this time around, um, if they keep you having boosters, 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 annual injections, that's money in the bank year after year after year, no matter what happens to you. Politico basically shows you the theory of the case and it's far from perfect, but they actually name Gavi, Welcome, Seppi and Bill Gates. They're conceding that which is no longer deniable, and they are trying to mask that which they wish to cover. You cannot take the Politico piece at face value. It is absolutely spin, 
and it is all predicated on some core underlying assumptions. And what it completely misses in all of this focus of, oh, you know, this hand wringing, oh, we didn't get vaccines to the poor people of Africa, is the poor people of Africa and many of almost all of the emerging economy nations have had the best outcomes from this uh, Yes. Quote, pandemic. Well, you say that it hasn't gotten to the to the inner curtain. Give me 60 seconds on the inner curtain and I'm going to go to Naomi. You say, hey, it's just the first, but they haven't really gotten to the real puppet masters. You're saying the next level is what? The intelligence services? There's no question that the intelligence community is deep in this. This is a large uh, effort which has been deployed now for decades. The intelligence community has long used infectious disease surveillance and response as a sort of a mask to get entry into various nation states and their political uh, um, leadership. It, this, this whole thing is way way bigger than okay. uh, just a I'm this just, I'm just using I'm just using I'm just patient. using I'm just using a way station here with Divelt Divelt and Politico to get there but uh, on everybody's road to Damascus right this is you're on the road to Damascus you're not going to have the Damascene moment yet but we're going to get there and the people that hate us the most are helping us